Okay, so in this question, we are told a purse contains three fair coins and one double-headed coin. A coin is selected at random from the purse and tossed. So first thing we want to do is we want to find the probability that a head is obtained. So here we have an example of a tree diagram question. It's conditional probability. What we have is two uh, events happening one after the other. The first event that is occurring is that we are choosing a coin from a purse. And then the second event that's going to be happen is that we are going to flip the coin that we picked. So if we draw branches for the types of co coins that we can pick, we can pick either one of the fair coins or a double-headed coin, which I'm going to call unfair for the time, for argument's sake. So I'm going to do probability of f for fair coin. That is going to be equal to 3 quarters. So let's just extend this branch out a little bit, just so I've got a little bit more room here. Okay, so that means on the other branch, it's the probability of not having a fair coin. So I'm just going to use f complement equals a quarter. Okay, so that's the first part of our tree diagram done. Next, we have to look at what happens when I flip the coin. So when I have a fair coin, I have two possible outcomes. I can either get a head, so this is the probability of a head given that I have a fair coin, and of course the probability of a head on a fair coin is a half, or probability of not getting a head, given that I have a fair coin. And again, the head, or the not head on that has a probability of a half. Now, on the unfair coin, there's only one thing that can possibly happen. That is that you will get a head because it's a double-headed coin. So the probability of getting a head given that it is an unfair coin, is equal to 1. Okay, so most of our tree diagrams done here. What I want to do now is calculate the end branch probabilities. So on this branch, we've got the probability of getting a head and a fair coin. And this is, of course, 3 quarters times a half, times a half, which gives us 3 over 8. We can have the probability of not getting a head and a fair coin, which is actually exactly the same because it's going to come out as 3 quarters times a half, which is also 3 eighths. And then finally, we can have the probability of a head and a unfair coin, which is a quarter times 1, which equals a quarter. Okay, so here's my tree diagram that maps all the possible outcomes in this experiment set of experiments and the probabilities of those outcomes. So part A, we have probability of getting a head. Now, in this tree diagram, you can see there's two ways I can get a head. I can do probability of head with a fair coin which is three apes, or I can get a head from the unfair coin, so plus one eighth, one, sorry, one quarter, and when I sum these up, I get a total probability of five apes. Okay, so how do I get the marks in this question? Well, in here, we get a method mark and an accuracy mark for a correctly drawn tree diagram complete with the end probabilities and here I get an accuracy mark for my five eighths at the end of the question. Okay so let's have a look at part B. Part B is where we're going to start to do really deal with conditional probability and actually start to use Bayes theorem and doing kind of like the unnatural conditions of thinking about finding out whether we picked a the likeness of picking a fair or an unfair coin given whether we flipped a head or not flipped a head. So part bi says determine the probability that a double-headed coin was uh, given that a head was obtained determine the probability of a double-headed coin was selected. So what we're doing here is we are actually looking at probability of the unfair coin so that's f complement given that we have a head. Now you can use the formula for this. This is the probability of head intersect 
the unfair coin all over the probability of getting ahead. And actually, what happens most of, in most of these uh, WJC exam questions is that, first of all, we work out the probability of one of these events happening from the second outcome, and then we find the conditional probability using that. So the probability of the head we've just worked out, this little bit here, that was 5 eighths. The probability of a head given and it being an unfair coin is a quarter, so I get 1 quarter over 5 eighths. And that, when you work it through, gives us a fraction answer of 2 fifths. OK, so on this question, how do I get a mark? Well, on this we get the marks for, actually, we get a statement mark just for, uh, sorry, wrong place, let's put it, uh, actually put it here. So we get a statement mark B1 for putting the quarter as a numerator. We get a statement mark here for putting 5 eighths as the denominator. They have to be the numerator and the denominator. And then you can have one mark. And it's a statement mark just for stating that you get two fifths. And this one's you only get a mark if you got that correct answer there. OK. So now, B part two. It's a little bit of an unusual question, this one. It requires a little bit more thinking about. We are saying prob probability that a head will be obtained if the selected coin tossed is tossed a second time, sorry. So what we're looking to do is probably probability head second time. Okay, so we've got to think about how this could occur. Now, given this is, remember, this bit here, given that a head is obtained. Now, there's only two ways that that head could be obtained, and that is that we've had probability of uh, probability of it being unfair coin given that it is a head with then getting a second head or the other thing that could happen was it could have been that we had a fair coin given that it was a head and that then getting that second head. So what we're going to do here is actually we're going to do add these two probabilities together. So to cal calculate this probability here, probability of it being an unfair coin given that it was a head was two fifths. Probability of then getting a second head would then be multiplied by one because we know it's certain if it was the unfair coin. Plus, because these are mutually exclusive events, only one or the other can happen. They can't both happen at the same time. Probability of it being a fair coin given it as a head, well, if it was probability of it being unfair was two fifths, the probability of it being fair was three fifths. And this is then times by the probability of getting ahead the second time, which is a half. So when you work this through, we get two fifths plus three tenths, and this gives you an answer of seven tenths. So how do we get our marks on this second uh, part two of B? Well, you can have, for this line here, we get a method mark and an accuracy mark. So potentially two marks there. And then finally, if you've got an answer of seven tenths here, you get your accuracy mark. Okay, hope that all made sense and that you understood it.